Hi, this is Mehdi. In this segment, Leila and I are students who are working together to prepare a presentation on Evan Lutz, an interesting American we learned about on the Voice of America website. We'll be using Zoom to collaborate. One useful feature of Zoom is that you can use it with or without a webcam. As we'll demonstrate in this video, if you don't have a webcam, you can still use Zoom for speaking without video. I'll be the student with a webcam, and Layla will be the student without a webcam. Hi, Layla. Hi, Mahdi. Are you ready to get started on our presentation? Yes. Should we start by creating an outline of what we want to present on? That sounds like a great idea. We can use the chat function on Zoom to do that. There's a button in the middle of your screen that looks like a speech bubble. Click on that to open the chat. Uh, let's create our outline here. We chose to talk about Evan Lutz, right? Yeah, that's right. First, we need an introduction. Then some body paragraphs. And then a conclusion. Uh, does this look good? Yeah, I think that looks great. I was I was reading the article. I came across this word. How do I pronounce it? I'll copy it from the article and paste it into the chat. Hmm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that word either. Why don't we make a list of words we're not sure of and then look them up on Euclid later? Yeah, that's a great idea. I have to go now, but I think this was a good start to our presentation. I agree. We'll talk soon about making the slides. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. As you can see from the demonstration, the audio and text capabilities on Zoom make it a great tool for collaboration. You can have discussions verbally as you would in person, but you still have the option to type. Zoom also allows for multiple people to be in the same video call at the same time, so Zoom is a favorite tool for collaboration even though there are many others worth exploring too.